Welcome to March Madness, which is a part of this channel's quest to determine the most problematic pope in history. Voting has concluded with the matchup between Paul VI and Pope Alexander VI. Paul won this contest by a landslide. We have another day of voting for the last of our first round matchups, which features Pope Liberius versus Benedict IX. After one day of voting, Benedict has taken the lead over Liberius. Though voting still continues on that matchup, we're moving on to the second round. And right off the bat, we have what will probably be the most contentious matchup of the second round, and it features Francis versus John XXIII. Now, if the guy who had put the brackets together had done a better job, this matchup would have been more climactic if it had been in the next round, but it is what it is. So on one hand, we have Francis, who is doing very well in this tournament but I suspect that he could be more ignorant of the faith than any pope in many centuries. It could very well be that any random 12-year-old homeschooled kid who knows the Baltimore Catechism understands Catholicism better than he shows evidence of understanding. As Sabat Hada commented during Francis's first round matchup with Pope John XXII, I vote Francis because Pope John XXII backed down. Francis just keeps spewing garbage and shows no sign of slowing down. And Francis is up against John the 23rd. Not only did John set the wheels of the Second Vatican Council in motion, with a great deal of hubris, he refused to reveal the third secret of Fatima. Though it was supposed to be revealed by 1960, he cavalierly dismissed it by saying that it didn't apply to his pontificate. So, the voting will commence in a few minutes. If you'd like to vote, I have the channel page linked down below. Once you get there, you'll have to click on the community tab to find the poll.